Hey peeps! So today I am doing a review on the Born This Way Matte Foundation. I was really excited when I saw this because I'm obsessed with the Born This Way Concealer, the new one. And I was like, you know what? Is a matte foundation. Let's try it. The original Born This Way foundation did not go well with my skin at all. I have combination skin, so super drier get really oilier so it's a battle so I prefer to usually use matte than dewy foundation because I can always hydrate underneath around my mouth and then it controls this area that's just how I work it so this foundation it claims to be oil free oil controlling you best be controlling that oils waterproof can we go swimming with this I don't know and transfer resistant, which is all fabulous. And 24 hours. No one knows anything about 24 hours, but we shall see. So I got the shade Golden Beige. Beige? Beige. It comes in 35 shades, okay. There should be something for everyone. I like to hope. And I took a literally a random guess at this because I wasn't sure if they were literally keeping the same shades for this foundation as they were for the previous foundation that they have, the original Born This Way. So I was like, I'm gonna take a lucky shot, a lucky guess. In the Born This Way original, I was light beige, but that was a little bit too light for me. So I've gone for the golden beige, hoping it is one shade a little bit darker than the other one. So this foundation is infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. Show all challenge fancy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a primer. I'm just gonna take the Smashbox Primizer. I don't want to use a primer that's gonna make me matte because I'm so dry on my face right now. It literally is just gonna hydrate my skin a little bit to bring me back to normal. I don't really want to use any type of primer that's gonna make it stick because I don't want to use a primer that's gonna alter the the outcome of the foundation because everyone uses different primers and secondly I want to see if it does what it says do you know what I mean normally I would use a mattifying primer on my t-zone before any foundation but I'm not gonna do that because I want to see will it do what I say here so I'm gonna do half my face with a brush half my face with a sponge see which one applies the best also, as I was reading on the website, it does say that it's supposed to say true to color, so it should be no oxidizing. And it should be shine free, naturally flawless skin, lightweight wear, and their coverage is so undetectable, you think you were born this way. Okay, and this does um, retail for £29. So I'm gonna just use like a flat top brush like this. This is like my favorite type of foundation brush. I haven't checked the shade yet, so. This is gonna be. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit. Cause I don't know how what the coverage is gonna be. I can still see like my beauty spots and that inside through the foundation. The shade is actually not too bad. It doesn't look like matte, like dry, and it doesn't feel tight on my face because I've used some matte foundations, for example, the Fenty one, the Fenty Pro Filter one. That one felt like cement on my face. So this one actually feels really comfortable so far. And I like the shade actually. That was actually a very good shade match, well done me. Okay, yeah, so this is literally like light slash medium coverage. Let's try and build it and see how that fabulousness will work out for me. It's 30 degrees today, so we're really going to be testing out that sweat and humidity, do you know what I mean? Resistance. It's the humidity! It's actually quite nice. It doesn't feel dry at all on the skin. Yeah, the thing is going to take a few layers to build up because you can still see my little dotties. So yeah, this is not going to be, if you want like full, full coverage foundation, this ain't the one for you, honey. Because I feel like it's going to take like a few layers, do you know what I mean? 
anybody got time to be spending layer and layer and layer and layer because what I like to do is I like to put little by little in bold that's the brush let's do the sponge okay so I'm gonna use a spongy sponge 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 just to do this side when you apply it on it actually has like a glow to this the, the foundation like it's not matte from the get-go now the side is dried down even though it's matte can you still see the sheen on my cheek? I don't look flat. Let me see if it covers this little blemish. The side with I'm using the sponge does have a more natural finish. Do you still see my skin is glowing? Which I kind of like. It has like a healthy, healthy look to it. I think the side that I've used, the sponge, has more of a you're a born this way type of look. Whereas this side is more of like a you have to grow into it type of look. Do you know what I mean? It really hasn't dried on map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the concealer and I'm not just going to place it just a little bit underneath my eyes. I want to see how it blends with the foundation together because they are meant to be. I don't want to put a lot of concealer on because I don't want to have a heavy face and I don't want to put in other parts of my face because I want to judge that for itself and I'm gonna just take the same sponge there and I'm just gonna dab this underneath my eyes oh that literally has blended so naturally together you can't even tell the difference that's great let's do the other eye Because sometimes when you put concealers on foundations, the foundation underneath lifts, but obviously they were born together. They were meant to be. That looks great. It hasn't really flawlessly covered this little blemish I have on my lip. And it does, around the creasing of my mouth, like it's made me look a little older just here. That hasn't dried matte. It's really irking me. So I just did a flash test. And it looks good. I'll see it here. I don't think this is SPF inside the foundation. It doesn't say there's any SPF in it. And there is, before I forget, there's 30 mils. Which is just average for foundation, really. Let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished the rest of my makeup. All I've done is I've just taken some translucent powder, a bronzer, blusher, and that's it. I want to keep it really simple see how it lasts throughout the day what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this um setting spray this is the morphe one and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna set half of my face because i want to see if it makes a difference if it will be more long wearing with a spray okay so i've only sprayed it on my right side of my face so far i don't feel like like this has gone nice and I'm not putting highlighter on because I want to see it for its natural form. Overall, this is really smooth. The finish came out so much nicer with the sponge. Like this side I feel like just came out so nice. I have no highlighter on by the way and you can still see like a little bit of a glow under my skin. So the foundation hasn't dried matte. There is no transfer actually at all. There is no transfer which is good. The finish is really nice, like it is a very natural finish. For only thing is, is I have a worry that this is going to get oily. It's not going to actually suck it up. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to check out, check out, check in at random times throughout the day. One thing I have noticed is I usually start to get oily around the three hour mark into wearing a foundation. So I'm going to check in in three hours. The time is 11 16, that's my little girl. Let's see how this bad boy wears. Right. Whew, okay, I'm back. So it's been just over three hours. So it's half past two now, and it is so hot and humid, and I've been sweating it. But let me tell you, the foundation has actually held up. 
like I would say just like in the past like 10 minutes I could feel like my face started to heat up and like in my t-zone as you can see like I'm not matte anymore I look like I have like a healthy glow but you, as you can see my oil is starting to come through I would say there's like 10% oil like I'm not like a greasy mess as I would have been with a different foundation like my nose and my t-zone my forehead is getting a bit glowy and I have been starting to like sweat a bit like up here around my mouth because obviously it's so hot but it's still together it hasn't melted off my face I don't have any patches I don't have any parts where the makeup has started to break up it doesn't look cakey at all and it hasn't really set into fine lines or anything like that. like I have little tiny ones here like two or three little tiny lines here around my mouth but I normally get that with anything but it doesn't look cakey around my mouth it still looks really fresh which I like so but overall the foundation still looks nice it's just glowy we're not mad no more we're dewy that is the word we are looking dewy we've gone from mad to dewy now I think I'm ready for my closer, closer, closer. I'm not gonna touch up now I'm still gonna roll with it I'm still gonna see where the day takes me. Let's see what it looks like in. I don't know when I'm gonna come back, but I'll come back. Okay, I am back. It's now eight o'clock. I have worn this foundation for nine hours now, and yeah, I'm looking a bit greasy. This is looking hella oily. This is looking. You can see. The one thing I did notice is the foundation actually stayed on nicer and got oilier less through this side on the side that I didn't put the setting spray so the, the foundation actually held on better without it which I didn't think would actually happen the one thing I will say that I'm so impressed with is the foundation has not budged yes I'm super oily right now but it hasn't rubbed off my nose it hasn't come off here I literally was drinking and all the water was going on my face and the makeup didn't rub off. The longevity is there. They ain't lying. But <laughs> it's not matte for 24 hours. <laughs> no day chance. So I'm super impressed. It's a good one. And I'm pretty sure, let me see. If I touch up, will it go back to normal? Yeah, pretty much. As you can see, look, it literally just smoothed right over. I just literally patted on the excess of the... I haven't even put anything on there. Literally the excess of the translucent powder. Just dabbed it over it. Looks good as new. It's done really well. Love it. What I want to do is I'm going to test out the foundation again tomorrow. But this time around, I'm going to wear it to work. Because when I'm at work, the foundation is where it's really tested. You know you're busy doing so much things, you're up and down, this, that, everywhere. So I feel like I want to test it in the working environment. So I'll see you back again tomorrow. So good morning, rise and shine. It is day two and I'm just about to go to work. I've done my makeup, I've done my base exactly the same as I did yesterday. So I'm going to just test and see how this lasts in a working day because let's face it the working day is when our makeup takes its toll the most i will be back tonight with this face okay i'm back i'm pooped <laughs> it's been a long day okay so i've been wearing the foundation now for eight hours i've gone to work and back i am really oily okay it has not stayed matte at all but we know that we get that from our previous day the one thing i will say though is it has not budged at all i've worn a mask as well all day i wear a mask like this right and i've been wearing it all day and there has been no transfer on my mask and usually so the foundations that i normally wear so i've worn like the fancy one to work i've worn my estee lauder to work and my literally I come home and my whole mask is covered in foundation on the inside and there is nothing <laughs> I'm shook so I'll tell you now I'll give them props for that I will give them props it stays put 
It does not transfer at all, but I'm hella oily. I'm like a disco ball, do you know what I mean? So that's that. <laughs> so this foundation, in comparison to the original Born This Way, this one here, I honestly think the new one is so much better. The original one literally didn't last even an hour on my skin before I went really oily. But this one, it has stayed put. This one is just so much better. It's just so much better. I actually chucked my original Too Faced foundation to the side years ago because I thought this thing is dead. Everyone hyped about it and people who were saying that it was good for oily skin was lying to me because it's not good for oily skin in the original. So oily skin girls, this will be good for you for a few hours, not for a whole day. But if you want your foundation to last all day long and you don't mind touching up, this one is great. I think literally is has made it to one of my best foundations. It really has stood the test of time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my foundation shades that I normally use in all other foundations. So if you are a same shade as me and you're struggling to find what shade fits you, then you get you can get like a good comparison. I think that's everything. I can't think of anything else. I hope this video has been very helpful and my oily skin girls, I got you. That's the end of the video, that's the end of the review, that's the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video.